What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're going to talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and if Gcam works. If you don't know what Gcam is, it is the camera app from Pixel phones and it gives you all of the Pixel features within that camera app, or most of them, on your non-Pixel phone. Now, this app works on a lot of different phones, but does it work on the Galaxy Z Fold 3? I'm recording this video in July, the middle of July, and does it work? And I'm gonna show you how to install it and if it actually works. And just to let you know, they always put out new versions of the app. So, you know, once we kind of get through that, I'll kind of show you what's going on with it. So first of all, let's talk about installing the app. I'll put the link to this specific version of the app down below. If you click on it, it'll bring you to this site, exactly where I am. And when I look at it, it's showing me three different sites on there. I'm gonna kind of pull this away. Uh, it shows Gcam, uh, it shows Gcam, Gcam. And if you look to the right, it shows one, like the second one is OnePlus, the other one is the Samsung Pack. Obviously we need the Samsung Pack. That's the one we're gonna click on. So we're gonna click on it. And when we click on it, it's gonna say, do you wanna download it again? I'm gonna hit OK, because I've already downloaded it once, but I'll just download it again, just to show you the process as, as to what it goes through. Then I'll hit Open. And then at this point, it's saying for security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from the source. You can change this in settings. So we're gonna click settings. Now, since I'm doing this in Chrome, I'm gonna turn it on for Chrome. If you're doing it from the internet browser, uh, just go into that and choose it. But then at this point, you know, whatever browser you're using, and then hit install. It's now saying installing, and it'll take a you know few seconds. Now I'm gonna hit done, hit my home app, and I'm gonna open up that camera app from here now. It's asking me if you can use my, uh, can, take, can, it, can the camera take photos and videos? I'm gonna hit while using the app, same thing for my location. And can the camera record audio while using this app? I'm gonna also hit allow to access to my photos, media, and files on my device. And it's asking me some other stuff. I'm just gonna hit done. So, does it work? <laughs> right now, yes and no. For the most part, no. Um, and. Why I say no is because when I show it here on the screen, it's frozen. Like it's literally not moving. But if I choose video, it does move. So like video, I can record video and it doesn't seem to freeze up. So I'll hit video and it's recording video right now. Ba 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 ba, working great. I can stop it. But when I do photos, it does give me a split instance of taking a photo. But if I wait too long, it starts to freeze. It'll like let you take a photo for up to two or three seconds and then it freezes. Portrait mode, same thing. I can take a portrait mode photo, uh, but then eventually it just freezes. If I just, same thing if I just let it sit. But it's funny, you can still switch, even though it's frozen on the screen, I can still switch between the different things within the app. Now, video seems to work okay, but if I switch to the front camera, the front camera does work as well. But if I go to front camera on the camera, it doesn't even work at all. It just freezes immediately and you can't take a front photo at all. Same thing with portrait. It doesn't really load and it doesn't matter if it's open or closed with those front cameras. It just doesn't seem to fully work. I will say though, this specific app I'm showing you will work on the Galaxy Z Fold 2 per Reddit. So if you want to, if you have a Z Fold 2 and you use the same installation guide that I just showed you, it will work. Z Fold 3, kind of, but not really. Um, and the reason you would want to do the Gcam app or camera app, if you want just plain camera app, is really to get some of those, you know, Google features and Google looking photos and Google um, autofocus and things like that that are pretty good on there. So that's really, really why you'd want to do it. But otherwise, you might not want to do it if you're just happy with the camera app. But yeah, as of right now, it doesn't fully work. Um, when and if it does work while I have the Z Fold 3, I will show you what to do um, or I'll just put some notes down below of which exact app to download because the download and installation, uh, won't, the download will be different but the installation guide to it will be exactly the same what I showed you today. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.